Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm Karen. Today's reading is Who is Missing You Like Crazy? So this is going to be one of my old style readings. I know that many of you are going to be really happy that I'm going to be continuing to do the shorter readings with the charms and the divination dice and the um, messages cards as well. Um, but I am really, really feeling on a personal level drawn to doing the longer style readings as well. They feel like an intense therapy session, even for myself as a reader. And I just feel intuitively that they're really, really benefiting a lot of people. So I'm going to be doing a combination of the longer style readings, which I feel will resonate with certain people, but maybe not with others. And then likewise, I'll be doing these shorter ones again as well. So I hope you enjoy this reading. So in today's reading, we have three sets of cards. Set of cards number one is the green crystal. Set of cards number two is the pink crystal. And set of cards number three is the yellow crystal. So take some time to tune into the energies of the cards. See which one resonates with you the most. Trust your first instinct. What kind of feeling do you get from each set of cards? Which one just feels right? Which one feels uplifting? That is the card for you. You can pause the video if you need to. I'll leave a few quiet moments here as well for you. Okay, so let's get into the reading. Welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen the green crystal. So who is missing you like crazy? We're going to be using the tarot, the messages cards, the divination dice, the charms and pulling messages out of the bag today. So who's missing you like crazy? We have the Knight of Pentacles, loyalty, someone who feels loyal feelings for you. This is someone that could be a slow mover, but they like to do things slowly but surely. This can come across as the person um, being a bit hesitant or quiet. You may not be in communication with this person, but they are missing you like crazy. This could be someone... Um, who's very hard working maybe they kind of bury themselves in work sometimes but who's missing you like crazy who is this person ten of pentacles see this is someone that they are partially basing their sense of self-worth on their financial stability or their financial success it could be that uh, this person already has a family in some cases it doesn't have to mean that but it could be that they're working hard because they want to be some sort of good provider and ten of pentacles they're dreaming about and thinking about having that physical tangible relationship with you having a family with you even who is this person We have the Vortex, Temptation, this is the Devil card, so yes, in some cases I feel this is a third party situation and um, they kind of feel this tornado energy when they think of you because they it really like confuses them perhaps, they feel all this desire, all this passion for you. Um, but they're fearful that if they allow themselves to get too carried away um, in wanting to be with you, then maybe it's going to destroy certain things they've already built up within their life. Um, if it doesn't represent a third party, this is just their own wounding, their fears, their blocks and illusions. You know, they may not fully understand what your connection is. And so it's quite frightening for them. This is someone that really wants to feel stable in their life and this connection is really like this tornado stirring things up and so maybe that is why they're keeping you at a distance seven of cups possibility so yeah 
I feel like this person is mostly daydreaming and thinking about you, um, but there's a sense of confusion within them as well. Uh, they may be like, what cup do I take? What option do I take? Um, and that Knight of Pentacles is like slow. It's like they're constantly mulling that over in their mind rather than taking action. So this is why it's coming across as like slow movement. Um, I feel like they're just they're fantasizing and they're not making a decision because they're too fearful that they'll make the wrong decision. And they do feel that maybe your connection is just some sort of temptation. Eight of Swords, restriction. So yeah, um, they're feeling kind of stuck right now. And this normally shows the person with the blindfold on. I feel like this person's burying their head in the sand. Um, they don't want to make some sort of decision. It feels easier to stay in their comfort zone. Whatever it is that's making them feel, or whatever it is that's kind of keeping them stuck, they feel like that's their comfort zone. Ace of Cups, love, but they do feel love, intense love in their heart for you. And that's why they're thinking about you all the time. They do miss you. They miss seeing you is what I'm hearing. They miss um, like literally being able to see you in the 3D. Um, I'm getting like an image of maybe for some of you, you work together or you just met in some sort of place where you could see each other but um, maybe you couldn't talk much or something like that but yeah they, they in their heart they feel this deep love for you so let's look at the messages from the heart cards <clears throat> mask hiding putting on a front trying to trying to impress you insecurities insincere self-protection manipulation okay so i feel like this person is quite secretive they're they may be hiding their feelings for you um this person just feels like it's safer to keep their feelings to themselves and kind of love you from afar um, also, they're going about their day to day life, hiding their feelings for you from other people, especially if they're in a, another relationship. Um, this person has insecurities, I feel. They don't, I feel like they don't know how to trust their intuition. I feel like this person isn't very spiritual, so they're more about like logic. And I don't quite understand what this connection means. <clears throat> Bitterness. I feel like they're, they're bitter at you for something in the past. Anger, resentment, jealousy, silent treatment, arguments, cold shoulder, ghosting and criticising. So maybe some of you are in a separation because of something really painful that happened in the past. It's either that they're bitter and have resentment. I feel like this person is in their pride, so they're not going to admit their feelings to you. Or it could be that they're worried that you're angry at them still. And so I feel like they're maybe watching you from afar, but trying to hide that. player so yeah for many this is a third party situation um cheating manipulation deceit lies third party non-committal fear of intimacy backstabbing charmer disrespectful maybe that's why there's this bitterness this person didn't take your connection seriously for some of you um in other cases i'm seeing that this person isn't really a player but they are with someone and I feel like for many of you, something did happen between you both and it went sour kind of thing because they wanted you to stay as like the third party kind of thing.
Oops. We have serendipity, chance meeting, more than coincidence, number pattern, signs, fated, destiny, soul contract. So the universe brought you together, but I do feel this may well be a karmic connection that you're in. Tough lessons, codependency, comfort zone, temptation, not being true to self, avoiding shadow work, stuck and depressed. So this person is in another relationship. It's a karmic relationship, but I also feel in some cases, um, but, you know, take whatever resonates. This may be a karmic relationship that you're you're in with this person. Because I feel like you're more spiritual than this person and they won't really understand what this connection is about. They have certain limitations that I feel they're not going to break through. So it's kind of just going to stay at the same level. <clears throat> love potion. Head over heels. Falling in love, if infatuated, obsession, hooked, irresistible, manipulation, captivated. So I feel this is a connection where the chemistry is really, really strong. But I do feel for most you are brought together because of karmic reasons in order to trigger a lot of pain. Um, to help you heal overall. Let's look at the My Soul's Desire cards. I feel foolish when I see how immature I was in the past. So you've helped this person realise their own immaturity in certain ways. And they may be hiding their feelings behind a mask because they're kind of embarrassed about how they acted in the past. <clears throat> I'm terrified that you're moving on from me. So that is why they're spying on you. I feel trying to see what's going on in your life. You know, they're, they're terrified that you're moving on from them, but at the same time, I feel like they're not willing to move on, at least at this time, from their own karma, their own blocks, whatever they represent. I can't bottle up my emotions any longer. So this person's really feeling this strong urge or strong need to communicate their feelings to you. Uh, let's look at the messages from the bag. Yeah, you're on different paths. I do feel this is like a karmic relationship. Um, I'm not trying to say the love between you wasn't real, but I feel like you're, you're destined to go down different paths. Leap of faith. Okay, so I do feel like you will be hearing from this person again. They will take a risk and reach out. But like I said, I feel like they're not really going to change that much. Whatever I'm hearing from spirit, whatever difficulties led to your separation initially, those same issues are still going to be there. Whoops. You're my world. So yeah, that, that's why they're missing you so much. You are their world, but at the same time, I feel like they they don't know, they don't understand that they need to overcome certain blocks and fears and they don't know how to, so I feel like they won't. Don't wait, yeah. This is a message from Spirit to say, don't wait for this person. It's time to move forward in your life. Yeah, because they got a mask on and I don't feel they will ever fully take that off. So let's look at the divination dice. The whip. So there could have been an intense like sexual chemistry between you. This is also like the devil energy there feel like a slave or they are a slave to their fears they don't know how to overcome their fears but yeah intense sexual chemistry as well medusa i do feel like they're insecure and it's like 
when they look in your eyes they freeze like stone or it could be something from their past um, some sort of female it could be that they have some mother issues and therefore their heart is like stone and they're afraid to open their heart and be abandoned or rejected like they felt in childhood so I feel like this person has settled in another relationship <clears throat> This book here reminds me of um, in between incarnations, there's like a, a spirit or a soul school kind of thing uh, where you meet up with other souls, your soul family, and you agree to learn things from each other, especially in your incarnations on earth. So to me, this is saying there's a soul contract. It's about lessons you agreed to learn from each other. The king. Hmm. What's this king about? And the boot. This king, to me, it's just saying that ironically, this person loves you very deeply and I feel like they will love you more than they've loved everyone or anyone throughout their life and that will remain true but still I feel like they won't come out from behind their masks um, and so there's a need to walk away from this person maybe a need for you to put your foot down create healthy boundaries and walk away <clears throat> so let's finish the reading with the charms So yeah, they do love you. That's just the back of one of the charms. They do love you. And they're thinking about you a lot. Thinking about the past. This is an I love you heart. Lock it. So lock it so where you put photos in of people that are dear to your heart. So you are dear to this person. But it's almost like a memory. Something from the past. This connection was about your healing, emotional healing, the star. And I just feel like this is an outdated connection with the cassette. Um, and the cassette, it goes round and round in circles. Thoughts on repeat or karma on repeat. So I'm hearing it's time for an up upgrade from spirit. If you really want to know how this person's feeling about you, please check out my dear beloved message readings. They're eleven dollars and eleven cents. That's US dollars. They're about a thousand words in length, and they're channeled messages from the divine masculine collective. And it's really going to help you understand how this person's truly feeling and what they're really going through. So please check those out. The details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. And if this has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment and subscribe to my channel as well. So thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number two. You've chosen the pink crystal. So who is missing you like crazy? Today we're looking at the tarot, the message cards, as well as the divination dice and the charms and pulling messages out of the bag as well. So who's missing you like crazy? King of Pentacles, trust. Okay, so I feel this is someone where you've had doubts about their feelings for you. This is a message from spirit that in your heart, you know who this person is. Trust that instinct. King of Pentacles. This is someone that um, may be successful in business, successful financially. Um, but it's also someone that does have this caring, kind of nurturing quality about them as well it could be someone that's wanting you to trust them they could be you know if you're in separation if something negative happened between you both something painful they may be trying to prove themselves to you right now and get 
getting you to trust them again. So who is this person? Six of Pentacles, generosity. So it, I feel in some cases this is them trying to prove again. Like I said, they're trying to prove to you, not just through words, but through actions. They're trying to give to you. They're trying to sweeten you up is what I'm hearing. Or they're trying to be generous because maybe there was an imbalance in the past and they were withdrawing their emotions or they weren't committing to you. And maybe you were the one that was putting in all the work in this connection and they were just uh, taking you for granted. <coughs> So this person's trying to prove to you that there will be a balance of give and take if you give them a second chance. Who is this person? Seven of Cups. So yeah, this says possibility. There's a sense that this connection was always up in the air, but it was never fully grounding. And I do feel it's because this person wasn't taking you or the connection seriously. And maybe they were burying themselves in work or burying themselves in something else. And it was, maybe they gave you false promises. They, they talked a lot about possibilities, but then they, their actions never followed through. They didn't deliver upon those promises. So now, now that you've walked away, they're trying to prove to you, but mm, I'm not sure if you should trust this person. Let's see. the sun and the two of cups so <clears throat> I'll pull out another one as well okay there's a few that have come out we have the nine of swords anxiety the two of wands and the full new beginning, vision and new beginning. Okay, so I feel like you can trust this person. The sun, happiness, I feel like there is an innocence about this person with the children here. There's a healing of the inner child. This is like a new dawn, a new day, a new phase in your connection that's gonna be much more happy and much more harmonious with the two of cups as well i feel like there will be an equal give and take this person wants a partnership they want a relationship with you now and i feel like they're missing you so much and they're laying awake at night worrying about the past worrying about how can they um get you to trust them again how can they get their um a second chance with you and this two of wands is them thinking about you intensely from afar maybe feeling a bit frustrated and impatient because they're wanting to like dive in um this interestingly this normally shows someone that the masculine standing on top of a tower looking out holding a globe looking out over the ocean um they, and it's really saying they want a new beginning they want to be with you, bridge the gap between you. And then interestingly, it's like they taking a leap of faith into a new beginning, diving off um, the top of that tower into the water, into the ocean that they've been looking out over. And so that's really saying that they really want to be with you. They're thinking about that and they will take that leap of faith. So the messages from the heart cards. Courage, yeah, they will take a leap of faith. Strength, leap of faith, doing what's right, bravery, confidence, going for it, protector, stability and dependable. So whatever was holding them back in the past, they're overcoming that. They're becoming much more stronger because they can't, bear the thought of not being with you yeah they see it as a missed opportunity regret taken for granted they didn't act kicking themselves they couldn't see clearly it was a harsh lesson wow they don't want to miss out again 
So they're really obsessing about you. They're fixated. They're passionate. They can't stop thinking about you. There's a lot of sexual tension. They're having a lot of sexual fantasies and burning desires. And they're really fascinated with you. They may be watching you from afar on social media, seeing um, what's going on in your life, really hoping that you haven't moved on from them. There's divine timing involved in this connection because it's a soul contract. It says not just yet. Spirit knows best. Surrender. Live in the present moment. Feeling impatient. So there's still a little bit of time before this person um, will take a leap of faith. Betrayal. Okay, so maybe um, there was harsh heartbreak here deception lies heartbreak stabbed in the back separation breakup cheating third party so i feel that's what happened in the past and caused you to move on from this person and now they're seeing things more clearly they realize what they had once it's gone ironically but it was a harsh lesson that their soul needed to learn and most likely, most likely there was a lesson there for you to have boundaries as well. So, yeah, they're daydreaming about you. They're, they're thinking about how it will be when they're with you. And they're fantasizing, escapism, dreams and goals, desires, passive, not taking action, ungrounded, but manifesting. Yeah, right now they're just thinking, they're daydreaming. Um, but yeah, look at the bottom of the deck risk taking when the time is right they will take that leap of faith trusting the divine intuitive against all odds taking action courage going for it wow okay so let's look at my soul's desire deck if i show you my feelings you might go off of me Okay, so this person had some sort of belief system about if they were too vulnerable, showed you their feelings, wore their heart on their sleeve, then you wouldn't um, be interested anymore. Uh, they have this sort of belief that playing hard to get or playing some sort of mind games is what draws you in. They just have a fear of being vulnerable, basically. And it's, it will be to do with something that happened in their past where they got rid of her from wearing their heart on their sleeve in some kind of way. So this person, I feel like they're just confused. They don't really know how to conduct themselves um, in this connection or, or how to like maturely bring this connection forward in a healthy way. I push you away because I don't want to lose you. Crazy, I know. So yeah, again... They push you away because they have some sort of belief system that playing hard to get is what's going to keep you attracted to them. <clears throat> I want to make love to you over and over again. Feeling intense passion. I'm coming to get you and make you mine. So yeah, that is that leap of faith that they will be taking. So let's look at the messages from the bag next. Hiding my feelings, yep, yeah, because I feel like if they show you their feelings, it will turn you off, ironically. This person is your soulmate. They see you as a soulmate. Yeah, mind games. This is like someone that's read books about, about attraction <laughs> and how to attract um, the opposite sex or, you know, this can be for same sex as well, but how to attract the types of people they want to attract, basically. Um, and it's led them to overthink things and feel like they have to be inauthentic and play some sort of games in order to keep you hooked. <clears throat> F 
fear of rejection. Yeah, that's what holds them back or held them back in the past. Yeah, and they're overthinking. <laughs> We'll look at the charms, I mean, the divination dice. Cactus, yeah, so they've grown up in harsh conditions. I feel like they didn't feel loved in their childhood. This is like in, in the desert, there was a drought when it came to love. And so if you tried to get too close to this person, uh, you got stung kind of thing. The snowflake, they see you as so beautiful, so unique, so precious. It could be something to do with winter months or maybe Christmas time where something significant happened. The crab, someone could be cancer, doesn't have to mean that. It could be that they're in their shell. Again, if you got too close, you'd get nipped by those pincers and they kind of scuttled away. Someone in their shell, someone hiding their feelings, really afraid of getting hurt. So yeah, they were acting like the troll kind of thing. Um, Cyclops. <laughs> um, you felt like they were trolling you because they were playing those mind games. Market stall. They want to invest in your connection. What's this market still about? Hmm. Maybe they're burying themselves in work because you were angry at them. You sent them away. And now we look at the charms. Yeah, their own karma, their own fears, wounds and misunderstandings about how to really conduct themselves in this relationship pushed you away like the fan. Could be an air sign. I love you to the moon and back. To me, this always implies that they loved you intense difficulties and pain happened so there was a separation and then it says the moon and back now it's coming back into your life they've had to go in the moon the shadow side a lot of things they couldn't see clearly they can see clearly now especially with this key here which shows the heart and the crown as well that's the opening of the heart and crown chakras because we have the chakra stone as well so they are seeing much more intuitively or they're just understanding the deeper or just how much you mean to them and um, how much meaning this connection brings to their life as well. So if you really want to know how this person really feels about you, please check out my dear beloved message readings. They're $11 and 11 cents. That's US dollars. They're not personal readings, but I channeled a collection of messages from the Divine Masculine Collective and they're about a thousand words in length. They're really beautiful insights into this person's heart. And many clients have said that they've been in tears of like joy from how much the, the messages resonate and how it really helps them to really understand what this person is going through. So again, they're the Dear Beloved message readings. Please check those out. The details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So if this has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number three. You've chosen the yellow crystal. So this reading is who is missing you like crazy. We're going to look at the tarot messages, cards, the divination dice, the charms and put the messages out of the bag as well. So who is missing you like crazy judgment, self-reflection. 
someone who's had a huge wake up call from your connection. This is a really, really powerful connection. This um, relationship with you could have led to a deep awakening. Hearing the divine calling, this person is feeling much more connected to their higher self, soul family, the angels. This is a connection that came into your life for intense awakening. Yeah, look, the lovers, choices. I feel like this person has to either make a choice between love and fear, or in some cases it could be that they're with someone else. But it doesn't have to mean that the lovers, this is a divine connection. It normally shows the angel um, looking over this connection. This could be an intense soulmate or twin flame and this person knows that this person feels the intensity of your connection they feel how amazing how out of this world this connection really is powerful love they're missing you like crazy because they know in their soul that there's definitely meant to be more that unfolds between you both yeah you're in a place of pause in the limbo right now with a hanged man but that is you're in separation because you both need more awakening and you know if you were together like straight away you'd be so focused on each other in the 3d that you would kind of miss this awakening you're in a separation so that you have time as individuals to reflect inwards self-reflection and that leads to more and more enlightenment. And that is what your souls agreed to go through because your souls want that enlightenment. So who's, who is this person? The chariot movement. They want rapid movement forward, but there needs to be a balance here between you both. So I am getting like twin flame vibes here. Um, yeah, you're, you're coming into balance within yourselves as individuals before this connection can uh, move forward in the 3D. But this chariot is also like saying there's rapid uh, ascension in this connection, an accelerated awakening through meeting each other. So I feel like this is someone that thinks about you every day or the th first thing they think of in the morning, last thing at night kind of thing. And I'm hearing that they struggle to sleep at night because they just don't want to go to sleep. They want to con continue thinking about you. Ten of Pentacles. They, they want this stable, grounded connection with you. They want to be the best version of themselves for you. They want to be a good provider. They want to basically be their divine masculine energy. Um, Knight of Pentacles, this is a slow moving knight, but this is someone who is loyal, their heart is loyal to you. Um, this slowness of your connection is so that everything is done thoroughly, the healing is done thoroughly, and the grounding of your true self is, takes root um, in a thorough kind of way, rather than it rushing towards union, because that won't work. Slowly but surely... Okay, I'm seeing the turtle here. They could be in their shell. In some cases, they could be a shy person. And part of this connection is about helping them come out of their shell. So let's look at the messages from the heart cards. Fear. Fight, flight or freeze. So yeah, I do feel that this connection forces them to be naked and vulnerable, but they feel much more comfortable in their shell. So it's calling them to be more comfortable of them, with themselves, you know, more self-loving, self-approving kind of thing. And this may be one of the struggles. Excessive worrying, stalling, running, avoidance, sleepless nights, thinking worst case scenarios. So they have a lot of insecurities. I feel like they're basing their sense of self-worth on how you see them. They're so afraid of your rejection that ironically they may have not taken a leap of faith on you, but they're like thinking about you. They're loving you so much from afar. The 
they have severe abandonment wounds from their childhood. And they may feel safer keeping your connection kind of in 5D uh, where there isn't any rejection or, you know, maybe you have some sort of situationship where you're in some sort of contact with each other, but they're afraid to take it further because they want you in their life in some kind of way. And they're afraid that if you get closer to each other, somehow it's going to mess things up and you'll leave them. Butterfly. Transformation of a relationship, freedom from blocks, wisdom, growth, strength, being your true self. So yeah, you're in this phase of the cocoon right now, some sort of blocks and struggles, but it's, it strengthens the butterfly, it's strengthening them. You know, I'm hearing from spirit, uh, this person's watching you, thinking about you, observing you from afar. They need this time to do that. And to go inwards, they're going inwards so much. And that is like how they are awakening. Um, and then eventually they will have that self-love, that self-belief. And they will have released the fear of loss. So they'll be fearless. And they can come forward and be their true self. But it may take a long time. Player. In some cases this person is either in another relationship or they they maybe at some point in the connection at least they put on some sort of front that you know they're kind of like this player energy look how attractive i am look how many people i can attract sort of thing playing sort of mind games maybe trying to make you jealous um that imm immaturity like they didn't feel secure within themselves so they tried to put on some sort of front that made them look more like confident, but um, in a cocky kind of way. Or again, it could be that there was someone else. Risk taking. So they will take a risk when the time is right. I can't say when that time will be because this is a general reading. So it'd be different for everyone. Taking a leap of faith, trust in the divine, intuitive against all odds, taking action, courage, going for it. And that's on top of that chariot card, which is movement. Seeking reassurance. So they're wanting to know the future. They're scared of losing you. They're wanting to feel secure. They're missing you. They want to be close. So yeah, this is someone that feels so insecure and I feel like they overthink things and they play out worst case scenarios and it really causes them to stall, um, causes them to go in circles in their anxiety and they're, they're trying to seek reassurance. This person, it's like they want so much reassurance before they take that leap of faith. But I feel like no matter how much reassurance you give them, they're still going to feel insecure. They need to find that within themselves. Ghosting, running, avoiding, feeling overwhelmed, difficult emotions, bottling up feelings, silent treatment. So yeah, that, and that's in the, the that's over the top of this card where they're in their shell, the turtle. Hmm. So yeah, they're hiding their feelings. They may have run away to be with someone else potentially in some cases because it was easier for them to just be with someone else where they didn't feel all this intense anxiety. Oh my God, look at the bottom of the deck. Tortoise. In their shell, slow moving, clammed up, silent, slow and steady, withdrawn, introvert, shy, insecure, wise. <clears throat> In some cases, it could be a twin flame. This is the next one at the bottom. Okay. So let's look at the My Soul's Desire deck. What message does their higher self have for you please tell me how you are feeling it's driving me crazy not knowing and we had seeking reassurance <laughs> you may be ghosting them I still love you. 
and I want us to start all over again. Wow. I feel foolish when I see how immature I was in the past. You are my twin flame. Please don't live, leave me. I'm sorry, I can't live without you. <laughs> wow. So let's look at the messages from the bag next. They're panicking. They feel like they're losing you. And they panicked in your presence because you're their twin flame. You see the core of themselves, all the parts of themselves they felt ashamed of or have tried to hide from the world. So yeah, they were trying to impress you with some sort of mask or acting cocky or playing mind games. Look how attractive I am. But you just saw right through that and thought they were just making a dick out of themselves. <laughs> They're problem solving right now. They're like, how can I make this right? How can I get you to come back? Scared of commitment. And it is because they're afraid of being their true self because they need to learn how to love their true self. They're rejecting parts of themselves, so they're sure that you will reject them as well. So, yeah, they're wearing a mask. Let's look at the divination dice. This connection is about ascension. It's really triggering both of your deepest fears... That's why it's so difficult. But this is good. This is like the Six of Swords card. Moving out of adversity into a brighter future. It also looks like the Grim Reaper to me. So that's um, transformation. Ending of the old. A new beginning. Your connections transforming in really positive ways. <clears throat> we have the wolf howling at the moon. At night, they're missing you especially. But also, this is the moon card. They they, they feel so much comfort, or, or they try to hold on to their comfort zone. But the moon is all about going down the fearful, unknown path. And they are doing that slowly but surely. Hmm. <laughs> this one comes out a lot, and... I don't know why, but I don't really like it when this one comes out. But I'm just going to see it today as they're fearful. Look how scared it looks. They're really fearful. And it's like it's got all these spikes. If you get too close to them, you get hurt kind of thing. Some of you tried to get this person to come out of their shell and you got hurt in the process. They ran away, made you feel rejected, made you feel abandoned. But you're going through this divine gateway into a new beginning. A really powerful new beginning. <clears throat> so we're going to finish off this reading by looking at the charms. We have I believe maybe they had trust issues in the past but now they are believing in your connection or they believe that you do genuinely love them maybe they felt like you were just in love with their potential or you were in love with some sort of projected fantasy you'd put upon them but now they believe now they see that you do truly love them they want to communicate with you with the lips also, this is saying they find you very physically attractive. Their heart is opening. This is really positive. Heart chakra. They're allowing themselves to be vulnerable. 
If you really want to know how this person's truly feeling, please check out my dear beloved message readings. They're $11.11. .11. That's US dollars. They're about a thousand words in length. They're channeled messages from the Divine Masculine Collective. So they're not personal readings, but I created a collection of those really in-depth channeled messages. And the readings really help you to see how this person's feeling and what they're really going through right now and what's really going on and transpiring in your connection in the present moment. So I've received really, really positive feedback for those readings because they're so um, in depth and really intense as well. So please check those out. The details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. And if this has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye.